Hello, hello, and welcome back as the adventures of Alex and Nona continue to be disappointingly sexless in my shuffle mode play of Oxenfree. And man, things are starting to get pretty acrimonious on the old island here, with most of last episode consisting of Ren and Jonas going all alpha male and bickering like fishwives. Which, you may say, totally makes them not alpha male at all, but come on, let's, let's face it here, fishwife... That's about as alpha as Ren or Jonas are either one ever gonna get. It took all of about 30 seconds for me to get completely fed up with their shit, grab my girl Nona here, and head out to the club, because tonight is all about the music. I just want to dance, Nona. I want to dance until I forget all about men and just lose myself in the music, the moment, to own it and never let it go. We only get one shot, Nona. We can't miss our chance. I need you to be my little ballerina goddess so we can get all Black Swan up in here and maybe dance a little bit of Forbidden Dance. What do you say? Yeah, you know, you look a little disappointed in your right to do so because sadly, the Forbidden Dance is probably not going to happen. Largely because the only music we're going to be able to pick up on this shitbox chunk of rock in the middle of God's Toilet is some 40s-style swing parade music or maybe the soundtrack to an old Bugs Bunny cartoon. But I suppose, you know, there's a chance, even if it is a slim one, that we can maybe tune in, I don't know, like Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake Suite and die in a glorious ballet of hot, sweaty teenage love. So let's cross our fingers, wander around some more, and hope against hope that maybe, maybe we can find something and go out in style. All right, can we check this out? Oh, we can't. All right. Uh, no. Can we go in here? We cannot. So there should be an informational thing here if we tune to like, what is it, in the hundreds somewhere? For the informational station? Oh, here this we go. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the so communication nerve center for outside called on military the installations. Because, you know, the primary U.S. Army is all about acronyms. Or is this Navy? Probably also about acronyms. ...protection through the invention of the famed wall system. Mm -hmm. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock. Oh, oh, there you go. See, they are all about the acronyms. Everything is an acronym in the Navy. Which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors. I've already gate. lost interest in this. Though the mechanics are considered it's, it's, outmoded. Uh, Mr. Today. Narrator, get us. All right, I can't, then, you, I, I'm telling you, Army narration like video guys. How come you guys are always like the dullest, most droning, just uninteresting people? Do they do they do they groom you for that? Is there like an Army broadcasting school or maybe Navy broadcasting? Where they train you to be as dull as possible. As, just, just, they're like, do you know what? No, you're too animated. I can I can hear the director in the booth with that guy. He's like, nope, nope, sorry, Rick. Gotta, I'm cut, cut. We gotta do that one again. Rick, you actually sound interested in the material here. You can't allow that to happen, man. You gotta sound like you're reading the back of a cereal box while you stand in the morning, slowly chewing cornflakes, waiting to go put spindles in boxes for a 12-hour shift at the factory. That's the tone of voice I want you to shoot for as you narrate this. Spindles, boxes, factory, that's your motivation. Make it happen. So we must be coming on something here. There's quite a bit of loading so time. Ah, here we go. Parks and facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm I guess. remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yep, we just, we just get the key and leave. Again, find the key. If there's a key, hopefully there's a key and leave. Also, you know what we should do? Let's do some jackass style shenanigans here. Get in this dumpster and write it. What do you say? You want to ride a dumpster? Please tell me I can jump onto the roof. Ah, come on. This We could come at this Catwoman style. Nona, you'd be turned on by Catwoman, right? I mean, if I wore some sexy black leather, would you uh, theoretically be into that? <sighs> okay, all right, fine. I, th I thought maybe the Catwoman thing would slay you. Slay, sway you? Slay you? I don't know. I'd like to slay your puss. That's what I'm getting at here. Can we, can we make with some... I mean, I can slay yours. You can slay mine. Turn about as fair play. We'll be all about the puss slaying. All right. Uh, clearly, I, I think Nona is even less interested in me than Jonas. This is not a red light. Red lights mean bad things. That's actually more orangish, I think, than red. Also, all of the other lights are the same color. Now, let's take a quick shot at the radio. Anything? Any wub wubs or the horrible droning noise that means horror is approaching? Nope. Just some high frequency static. Anything in the other direction? Oh. Oh, no, 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 man. That's just a music cue. For a minute there, I thought we were turning something in. 
The radio is absolutely dead here. Great. I need music so Dona and I can get all black swan. She's got the dark hair. I've got the thin build and the blue hair. We could be me, Lacunas, and Natalie Portman right here, Nona. No one would ever have to know. It could be our secret. Or we could tell the world. I mean, we don't have to keep it secret. Let's just, let's declare our love and consummate this relationship right here, Nona. All right, fine. So, yep. Okay, and this is, uh, this is where we came in. Can we go to any of these shops? Clarissa! What are Wait. you... Wait. How did she get up there? What up are where? you doing? How are you Clarissa, not killed? How, how are you... How are you not dead right now? Like, swan dive out of a window, empty pool dive... Dead. Also, how the fuck did you get on top of that light? Oh, fuck. All right, she's horrible. What's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you know, my guess is going to be that there's a lot wrong with her, Nona. A lot. I hate when this happens. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh... Clarissa! This happened to Ren. It's... it's uh, I don't know. It's like when they want to talk or something. Oh, uh, God. Clarissa, can you... She's going to say something horrible. Don't ask her questions, Nona. All right, so do something, do anything. Please try and get her down. At least, please, somehow. Will I beat your hero, Nona, if I do this? Will this impress you? Just talking to her is only going to end to... All right, well, the radio is the one solution to everything. Let's do this. Nope, nope. Okay, that's Clarissa. I thought we were tuning something in. Come on, Clarissa, you know you want to come down there. You've got to explain things to me. And Ferguson is going to be heartbroken if you jump out of a window again, because let's face it, you're the only link Ferguson has to the world at large. Without you, Ferguson never develops any kind of social skills, dies bitter, miserable, and alone in a dumpster behind an Arby's. Oh, here we go. Getting warm. Oh, there's the evil triangle of doom. Where, triangle, where are you going? Are we going this way? Come on, Triangle. Don't don't fuck me on this Triangle. I'm trying to impress Nona. I'm hoping to get a little pink Triangle action from her. You know, if this works, but it's clearly not working. Oh, here we go. Well, we're getting closer. Okay, so this one is remarkably difficult to tune in here. Come on, Triangle, man. You're making me look bad in front of my girl. Work with me on this. What if we just peg the dial? Why is this one so impossible Possible to tune in? It's like 103, right? We are not making progress. What's going on? Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, God, this is awful. You think you can control me? Well, no, I really just want to help you get down. I, what? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. Well, I am. I'm just definitely trying to get into yes, Nona's course, pants. Be, That's what we're trying. This isn't trying. You're walking around pointing a radio at things. Might as well be a stick. When you're well, wrong, Clarissa, you know what? I, I can't. You're not wrong there on that one. Oh god, she's dead again. She uh, well, okay. she only fell off of a light post. Maybe she survived that? I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? Seriously, did you survive that? You Holy shit. Crap out of us. I'm fine. I can I'm fine. Yeah, I'm and fine. also you clearly have sure? some fucking superpowers. That didn't look great. You've fallen out of like a three-story window off the top of a lamppost, and you seem absolutely none the worse for wear. Are you sure you're not like Miss Marvel in disguise or something, Clarissa? That was a while ago. How did I get here? That's a remarkable question. How you got here, Clarissa? You were dead a minute ago. Do you do you realize that? Yeah. Are you not at least a little freaked out about that? Really? Okay. Twice. Once you were hung, and once you plummeted out of a window. So you're just blank. No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. Of course you do, because and the radio is the only like tool I have here. We're the reason all of this was happening. Oh, fuck. We're time looped? No, Clarissa's wait a minute. What, already? Yeah, what the hell's going turn. on here? You mean it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. 
Oh, guys, when did this I happen? Because I don't remember us being here. Whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you... Uh, go ahead, Clarissa. Question is gonna be, I'm not gonna waste it. Ask me something Alex, horrible about Michael. What did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are... Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and... I think it jump-started everything. Really? I was just trying to get in Jonas's pants, but I'm not having any part sorry, of that. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm actually no, just no, sorry no, that no, I came. I'm also sorry that I know Ren. Graduation. That's what I'm mostly so sorry about. I'm sorry I'm that I know this. Ren. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's yes, no yes. She blames me for everything. Goes. She creates chaos. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? You uh, so me? Clarissa Come is still on, clearly Clarissa. heartbroken about the whole Michael thing, us. and somehow I, the town I was responsible for that. Red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead, and the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. There it is. The other shoe up. finally drops. Like, do you it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael can't even look at you right now, Clarissa. Can't even look at you until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last. God knows what. So our brother drowned, drowned, I guess? He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Uh, it doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there. Anyone. And then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. So anyone sick of you, Clarissa. Can't look at him die, right Alex. now. Anyone else would have done something. Hey, just okay, because I was there doesn't mean I'm a good Clarissa, swimmer. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't. I can't believe. Ugh. She is. Seriously. Enough. No, no. It was awful all right it, it's still awful and, and i i don't just i just Alex, need you to love me and make the pain goodness, go okay? away nona that's yeah. what i need but we came love here me to do a thing and that thing is going to get us home so let's get home no. you know this uh, i wholeheartedly Krista. support oh great hey whoa man do you ever do you ever get deja vu Jeez. like every episode yeah thing of goosebumps from one oh constantly i'm like the Empress of Deja Vu. It's you see that black cat life. walking by? Yeah, they changed something. Like the They're here for Morpheus. Oh Mouse is gonna die. We're gonna wind <laughs> oh, up stuck in the know. fucking drywall okay, or the well, main wet wall of some building or something. Is like Morpheus right is gonna there. sacrifice so himself because he's convinced I'm the one. <sighs> it's 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 gonna be. I mean, it's it's gonna be fine at the end of the first movie, Nona. But then let me tell you. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? Yes, we are. To but if I could just tell you about the Matrix and how the sequels were just god awful abominations. Actually, that's not true. I kind of think those sequels get a little undeserved hate. The main problem I have with that situation, and I'm going off on a weird tangent here on the Matrix, is Alex, wanna try and yeah, get the I, key for the gate? J you would know, you? The no, I'm gonna talk about the here? Matrix, Nona. Stop interrupting me. I really think those two movies get a bad rap because there was a video game and the Wachowski tried something interesting. I, I want to give him at least credit for that, where they tried to incorporate a lot of stuff into the video game. But the problem is, is the second and third movie, if you didn't play the video game and see a lot of the cutscenes, which actually were stuff that was some of it was actually footage that should have been in the movie that got cut. And the, some of the movie is considerably better if you played that game and experienced those scenes. There's a lot of backstory in there that, like, critical backstory, really, that needed to be in the feature films. I don't even know why I'm down here. I also don't know why I'm talking about the Matrix movies. I mean, they really hurt the... Those films were really hurt by the footage that came out of that video game. I don't even remember the name of it, either. It wasn't like the Matrix MMO that they tried, because that was just an abominable fucking... That, uh, that was a video game abortion, is what that game was. But the the single-player sort of beat -em up game that they built for the Matrix in between the release of the first and second movie... It was actually yep, a, a pretty solid little game. Um, and they hurt their movies by trying that. to make it part I of the think, whole yeah. genre. It's, it was like a trilogy through, almost. Honestly. Um, the fun and profitable. Yeah. Worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not going to complain. Let's just kick the shit out of it. Come on, girl. We got this. Shove it. <sighs> Ooh, yeah. Girl power. We got this. All right, so we're looking for a key. There is a very terrible painting of a fucking fighter plane that was obviously done by someone's grandkid. They were really proud of it and put it up on the wall. They're like, little Jimmy did the mural. Doesn't it look amazing? And everybody who walked in the shop is like, yeah, uh, yeah, Beatrice, it's it's really good. Jimmy's got a bright future in the art world. He's uh, the next Mark Rothko. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? And then you just had to hope nope. that Beatrice wasn't smart enough or didn't have enough about art cool. to... Uh, Carry on. 
know that Mark Rothko was a color field painter, and by and large, most of his paintings are just a, I mean, literally a single color. It's just like a canvas that's entirely red. There's a box. We've got a cabinet. Sign up for the aquatics program. Please register at the front desk. Oh, come on. Now the game is just fucking trolling me. Straight up trolling me. Uh, aquatics okay. program. I just heard about my brother's before. doom and death. Um, you'll get used to it. Yeah, but you'll get used to it. It's surprising what you can get used to on this island of horrors. So does technically that make this the little shop uh, of horrors? Are we just something. about to get a Rick Moranis drop here? Maybe some it's singing? Pocket radio, I think. Oh, but great. Just what we need, another fucking radio. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Oh, so we can go up to that lock? lug. Okay, Whatever all right. That means. Well, we just Duh. heard a whole right here exploratory thing on it. It like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must... Uh, okay, cool. Great. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a... Wait. What is this? Please, for the love of God, Nona, don't tune in the station. Of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Um, we should... Why, why would her would stuff her be stuff here, be actually? Here? Didn't her family or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just want to... Okay, here. All right, so steal a boat and leave is our goal. That's fantastic. So we didn't find a gate key, but we found the stupidest army project of all time where they keyed everything on this island to random radio frequencies because call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure that's concern? remarkably this hackable. Its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? Well, I'd like to know what this option is before I have what? to pick. What could that Let's get out mean? of this building. I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. Oh yeah, that's the best thing to do. Keep it secret. Action may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control, like, like ghosts or the army, or what was she talking about? Why am I just I staring at my then. fist? Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station One Four Zero Point One and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Great, so it's an elaborate fucking scavenger. You know what? Chores, Jan. The island. Oh, God, chores. I don't care if the soldiers secretly smoked opium or got the village wives pregnant. I just want to get out of here. Hey, yeah, hey, totally. hey, to don't be bagging on getting the village wives pregnant. That's no a national pastime around here. That's like making fun of hockey in Canada, preserved. Alex. You just but don't do that shit that here on desert, awful island of ghosts. The best interest for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. <sighs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Horrible, like, horrible dreams. Horribly boring dreams. Unicorn? Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream, but I think yeah, I'm especially ready to Chuck Windig, although his was a mechanical totally Pegasus and it you. murdered people. I haven't read Blightborn. Check it out. It's pretty good. All right, so I guess we're one hundred four point one. Was that the? Uh, no, I want, I want the radio, please. Why can I not get the radio? There we go. So one hundred four point one. Let's tune it in. It's got all of nothing. I guess we'll just turn it to 102, 104.1 and maybe wander around a little. See if we can find some of these massive secrets that this woman was desperate to conceal. If she's desperate to conceal them, by the way, why did she just leave a note and two wall equipped radios in a fucking random box? This is not how you actually conceal things, Miss Adler. I mean, I don't, I don't want to throw shade. I don't want to put you on blast at being a terrible at fucking keeping secrets, but this seems like the worst system literally ever. All right, so we can't... Can we go back to the dock? You know what? At this point, I'm tempted to just fucking swim for it. I mean, it was like a 30-minute boat ride. Let's say that boat was averaging, uh, you know, like four knots. 30 minutes, so that's what? Like two nautical miles? Uh, that's, that's like a little over uh, two and a half actual miles. So we could... We could... We could probably... We could probably swim that... Oh, wait, never mind. Alex is a terrible swimmer and let her brother drown. Do I really want to drown? Okay, well, logic says that Alex is probably not going to make it off the island alive if we try that particular... Oh, wait, there was something blinked here. I saw a blink. See, it's, it just did it again. There's something in this garbage can. Ah, oh alright, well, it's right here. The Camaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. 
USS Walter Roy, a destroyer escort, sunk the USS Canaloa with friendly fire on October 25th, 1943. It had held a developmental nuclear reactor in its belly and had been sent out weeks earlier as a test of its capabilities. Relatively few even knew of its existence, which tripled the base's confusion when the submarine's communications had been cut. No one outside of a handful of us would ever know the truth. I would discover later that a weapons technician of the Walter Roy had been at Francis Salter's wedding. Salter was an engineer on the Canaloa. I don't know why, but it's strange to me. All right, we've got a nice little picture of the statue there. All right, so we did find one of Adler's letters. All right, so nuke sub, secret army testing, a lot of weird, freaky shit happening here. Let's go back up to the wall control center and see if we can actually make that location do anything. Fingers crossed, Nona. Also, by the way, I haven't uh, haven't propositioned you for sex lately. Is this uh, this whole Maggie Adler mystery thing maybe maybe turning you on a little? Are you are you starting to get uh, feel a little tingly in your jinglies? Maybe a little uh, little twitch in your jeans, a little uh, a little leeway in your Levi's. Uh huh. Maybe just just a little. No, no. All right, let's just go to the cliffs then. Do we have to ride the dumpster to the cliffs every time? Oh no, we're just jumping over a fence. All right. We still should get some jackass style shenanigans. I mean, just because we're on an island of death doesn't mean we can't have a little good natured fun. We could go all Johnny Knoxville on this shit. We could ride it down. Somebody will get a nasty rusty gash on their forehead. At, at this point, do we have to worry about tetanus? I mean, are we even going to live long enough for that to be a problem? I'm not totally sure, Nona. I don't think we have to fear the tetanus. One last time, by the way. Sweet black swan action. We could, uh, we can, I'm telling you, but this dance, Nona. If we dance the dance, it would be so, so sweet. All right, Nona, she's <laughs> not having it. Oh, wait. Why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? What the and fuck I are you talking you about? You said you were going to go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. Oh, huh? God. We're time looping again. 1 p.m. last year. And I never said I wanted to go swimming. You just Who the fuck are these people? Oh, this is Clarissa and Michael? <laughs> I inverted? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Wait, you uh, just now noticed yeah. your dead brother is here? What is it? Uh, why am I here? Step on a crab or something? Why? Why am I here? So can I go back in time and save my brother? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knickknack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex, relax. We just got here. No, why? Why? Wow, Clarissa was way less of a bitch before Michael died. Because you said I studied enough for my French test. I want to go to the beach. And you brought me to this dump. By the way, you made the right choice, Alex. Also, my hair used to be a much paler shade. Where's, Where's Jonas? Where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? His yeah, name is Jonas. Uh, he's carrying the whale. He's just he's just a friend, but he was Well, I mean, if he's here, there's only two places he could be, the beach or the town. Yeah, it's a small island. I'm sure you'll run into him. All right, so Thanks clearly we've got a Twilight Zone here, can't well, change the past. Really also, HD Wells' is time yeah, machine no, kind of thing. Really Are we going to talk to the I'm Uber Morlock in a minute and Michael uh, or rather Jeremy Irons is going to Tell me that you can't change the past because you wouldn't have a reason to change the past. Once the past was changed, you'd never build the time machine, and thus the events of this movie could never actually happen. Which honestly would have been better for everyone, especially Mark Addy and Guy Pierce. Uh, I have problems with the time machine movie. Just uh, sorry. All right, let's just go to the beach because clearly the time loop is fucking gonna do whatever it does, and I'm gonna have to watch you die all over again. This time, you know what, Clarissa? This time, just to make you less of a bitch and happier, I'm going to try and drown myself to save my brother. I mean, if nothing else, it gets me out of this fucking stupid time loop. Ordinarily, when stuck in a time loop, you need Star Trek's data to send himself a message back in his positronic net so that he knows how to break us out of the loop. But we don't have a data. I don't have a positronic net. Uh, we're probably fucked. I mean, it's not like Riker is going to get us out of this. The old number two. <laughs> uh, the poop joke is funny every time. Also, Clarissa, you have remarkably bird-like legs. It's like watching a stork walk around in the shallows, slowly fishing. If you stoop down and fucking catch a herring in your mouth and swallow it whole, I'm going to be really fucking grossed out here. Let's just go to the damn beach. Uh, you know what? If I have to drown myself to save my brother, that's fine. I, I, as long as I get to make fun of Clarissa for doing the stork thing first, I'll be happy. Tonight. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's what's his face, Mr. Collins' English? I missed you. I've um, I've. Ah, sorry. I think, yeah, I, 
<laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because what is the I fucking deal like with this soccer ball? Oh god, you idiot! Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. Don't, don't, <laughs> please don't leave. Don't. Can, can I come with you? Please Why don't can't leave. Just come with you. I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. I'd really rather not. Fine, stubborn. So, uh, <laughs> do you? Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm I don't know. Sorry, me chucking rocks in the ice in our oh, island oh, horror show. Island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and and none of this is jarring like anything loose. Is, is the beer still over here? Can I, I mean, at least get another I beer? I don't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so. You know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. Yeah, it's been a real done. fucking treat, Clarissa. Really a real treat. Like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, I'm just gonna kick this stuff. ball back and forth no. desultorily. Cool, cool. Until this scene Michael, is over. Uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> have a thing for my brothers. What can I say? Alex Stepbrother? Actual brother? Class. Isn't she hilarious? It's yeah. more of an any port in a storm kind of thing for Alex, and despite the fact that I'm sort of an any port in a storm kind of gal, I don't ever seem to get a port in my storm. Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So, apparently, you love me. Is that right? <laughs> Well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. So what do you say? You want to get seriously freak nasty? Oh my god, I forgot about that thing. How could you already forget? I gave it to you like two months ago. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get a lot of use. Yeah, because Clarissa so, strikes me as uh, somebody who's really, really into the skate scene. Something, so I'm going to run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? <sighs> no, that's no, fine. Oh god, why didn't I ask for a drink? Well, it's non-alcoholic, so it wouldn't have done me any good. Okay, I'm here. What's well, now that Clarissa's gone, I guess you're Alex dead. I'm going to fill you in on the fact on? that you're about to drown. Uh, you know what? I've I'm just happy you, to have man. this time I've, with you. I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. Well, we really we kind of don't. Movie night. Board game night. Uh, no, Michael, I can't. You're, you're not there. Well... Sometimes I'm there. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. Yeah, I love being your third wheel. So... You know what? What, what do you see in her, really? Really? I mean, explain okay, this to me. Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. Oh, sounds like Tuesday, a fucking treat. So... That sounds awful. Like, I think I've had stress dreams more relaxing than that. Yeah. I guess you had to be there then. Okay, it's sure. You like Clarissa, Alex, so <laughs> well, you're going to be real fucking disappointed on that one, Michael. I hate to break it to you, buddy. Do whatever you want, man. God, do what I can't you tell want, you anything. Don't ask me for advice. I hope she's a dynamite <laughs> okay. in a sack. That's all I'm, I'm going to say. That as endorsement, just so you know. With those weird bird stork-like legs, I got to say that would put me right off my lunch. But uh, back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. Oh, nope, no sorry. Way, bucko. <laughs> All right. Well, the bucko. weird wobbly screen tells me that uh, this little time loop is about to end. Yep, there goes Data's positronic net. It has kicked me out of what was a delightful remnants of my past and a chance to converse with my long dead brother. Actually, you know what? That was kind of tragic, Data. You could have just fucking skipped the whole thing. Thanks for re-breaking my heart, you jerk. Ah, uh, nothing like a little past guilt to shackle me to my current horrible Alex, situation, which is you... equally horrible. All right, are you back with me now, man? You've been where the like how the a... fuck did we get I don't here? I know how to put it, like a bird just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Yeah, man, everything I, on this I island is awful. Saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he? I was. It was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was. You remember, like the time loop episode of uh, Futurama, where the guys kept throwing basketballs at Bender's head. All the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now. Yeah, it was really weird. And you know what? On that weird and tragic note, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot. 
And if you'd like to see more Oxen Free, you might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of Shuffle Mode every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will make Nona love me. My heart is broken. My hair is blue. My brother is dead. Clarissa is still a bitch. But I am going to get some sweet black swan action. Jonas, Ren, to hell with them. It's all about you and me now, Nona. It's you and me against the world. Let's dance the Forbidden Dance. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to go dance a little Forbidden Dance of my own. Probably solo, because that's the way I roll. I'll see you again soon.